So what I'm showing you guys here today is our tilt trailer. This one is a 18K tilt. We also offer it in a 14K. The uh, 14K has, this is a really important thing to understand because we found that a lot of our competitors are building the heavier duty, the, the 17, 18K version of their equipment trailers with the eight inch I-beam, but they're doing it with uh, I-beam that weighs 10 pounds per foot. At Bigfoot, we use 10 pounds per foot on our 14K trailer, 15K trailers. But when you get to the 17s and 18K trailers, you go up to 15 pounds per foot. So it's half again more steel in the frame than it is on a lot of our competitors that are doing the same style of frame. On our tilt, you've got the uh, integrated uh, toolbox built into the front, shock absorber when you lift it up. It's 3 16 plate steel, so you can actually drive on this. It's not just a lid for looks. You can see that we made it so that there's nothing in the way, so you can drive up on the front of it. You got the 12K jack with a spring-loaded leg, Demco cup, easy latch coupler that's always gonna go on the ball no matter what. You can even get it on the ball when the lever's closed. This one is a 22-foot uh, tilt, which means you got a 16-foot gravity tilt deck six foot front deck and then of course on our trailers you always get your bonus space of three and a half to four feet up front rub rail is standard where you have stake pockets and the steel bar to protect the trailer from forklifts and to give you unlimited places to tie off to on this trailer and all of our 17 and 18k trailers you've got the dexter 8k axles with the big giant d80n hubs that actually have bigger brakes than what a lot of our competitors are using on the same trailer. Three and a half inch tube instead of a three inch tube like on almost all the other trailers out there. The axles under this trailer are no joke with big giant brakes that you're actually gonna be able to feel, feel helping you back there. Back here, the dovetail part has quarter inch plate steel and welded to be much heavier duty so it won't break when you tap it into something. This is our lever system for the releasing of the safety latch. You've got it hydraulically stopped down, you've got it mechanical stop, and then we have a third mechanical stop just as a backup. 